For a brand renowned for covering all the bases, Cube has, for some time, had a glaring gap for a long travel 29er in their repertoire. But that's all about to change with the arrival of the all new Stereo 150. As secrets go, it's been a poorly kept one, hiding in plain sight under Cube's Action Team Racing Squad ever since the final round of the 2017 Enduro World Series. But now Cube is ready to strip off the camo and reveal it to the world. One glance and it's easy to see the new bike has been given the same design stylings as the shorter travel Stereo 140. It's a bike with plenty of chunky carbon, hidden pivots and tidy internal cabling, giving it a familial feel about the whole aesthetic. As the name hints, well, shouts ready, there's a full 150mm of rear wheel travel on offer. To keep it in line with enduro trends, Cube has opted to fit the Stereo 150 with a longer 160mm travel fork slackening the angles and increasing the confidence on the roughest of trails. Per the remit for a bike designed around an all-terrain racing discipline, it needed to be not just a ripper downhill but able to pedal efficiently. Specifically, it needed to be able to smash the uphill and sustain the speeds on the flat, and all with as little power loss as possible. To achieve such a feat, Cube has tweaked the suspension kinematics of the existing Stereo 160. Cube isn't going to win any awards from the progressive geometry police with the Stereo 150. Yes, it has moved in what some might see as the right direction, but the figures still seem conservative. A reach of 457mm on the large frame size makes for a tight cockpit and could be classed as being a shade too short, especially when compared with the competition. Cube themselves are ready to admit that the Stereo 150 has been built around racer requirements and German logic rather than market demands. One thing that can't be faulted is the build kit on all the models available. The C68TM version we rode at the launch was especially good. The latest 2019 Fox 36 factory fork and Fox X2 rear shock offer sublime performance and levels of adjustability that will have compulsive fettlers frothing. Coupled with a SRAM Eagle drivetrain, MRP chain device, Schwalbe soft compound tyres and race face cockpit, it's ready to race from the box. Being typically European, Cube hasn't quite quit the front derailleur though. All models come with the ability to run a 2x or 3x gear setup. Riding the tight and rocky trails around Finale highlights the abilities of the Stereo 150. Yes, the cramped reach forces you to load the fork a little more than is preferred, but it proves to be a ripper in the rough. Testament to the performance of the big wheels and hit swollen suspension, it's a bike that's happiest at warp speed. Fortunately, razor sharp handling enables you to place the front wheel exactly where you want, keeping you out of trouble and allowing for almost subliminal direction changes. Expect to see Cube rolling out at least three models of the Stereo 150 this year, with an anticipated UK release date of May 2018.